first one ever. Let's go. I'm pretty sure you've heard of her. Caitlin Tui is not a name you will soon forget if you are truly a fan of the sport. And now, with her most recent announcement, I'm sure you'll be surprised. Or will you, really? It seems that this year alone, Caitlyn did a lot of things that people were surprised about. A pleasant surprise to her fans, but not so pleasant for her competitors. Well, could you be if you were in their shoes? I mean, no athlete would welcome being outran by their competitors. And Caitlyn, without a doubt, can be easily set apart from her peers. Now, Caitlin Tui, who gained national fame while running for North Rockland High School. And last night, I, I came and I watched Ryan run counties. North Rockland did great in my high school. Before setting multiple collegiate track and field records and helping North Carolina State win three women's Division I titles, has turned pro at 21. The question is, is she ready for it? If her recent performances are any indication, it would appear so. She's achieved a lot, no surprise there. So on that note, let's talk about her road to turning pro, what and how well she did leading to that. Even in high school, Caitlin has become something of a star. The Stony Point, New York native was an elite high school distance runner and a top collegiate recruit at North Rockland High School. In cross country, she was a three-time champion at Nike Cross Country Nationals and a three-time Gatorade Athlete of the Year. Tuhi is the only athlete in any sport to ever win the award three times. Tuhi also set the high school 5K cross country record at 16 minutes 6.87 seconds. On the track, Tuhi set four national high school records in the outdoor mile, indoor 3,000 meters, outdoor 3,200 meters, and indoor 5,000 meters. Her indoor 5,000 meter record is also U.S. junior record. Therefore, it goes without saying that Caitlin Tuhi entered college as one of the most hyped recruits of the early 2020s after a record-setting high school career. Since then, all she's done since exceed expectations. It is worth noting, however, that Caitlin came into college injured, so it had not been an easy transition for her. So I really wasn't running the first semester, she admitted. So it was really hard, and then with COVID on top of that, it was definitely a tough first semester. She shared at the time, she looked up to her upperclassmen for advice and learned from them. And also, just try to do what's going to make you the happiest. I feel like when you're in a happy state, all aspects in your life will come around. I would say it's so easy when you're in that good headspace. I bet everyone will agree with that. It's definitely important that you are at 100% when chasing a goal. Obviously, and fortunately, it worked for her, as evidenced by her achievements. Simply put, 2020 through 2022 has been good to her. In fact, in the past two years, Caitlin has competed in countless meets and received seemingly endless awards and recognition. Of course, her excellence did not stop there. Listen to this. Um, it's been awesome. Uh, I've had a really good year with the girls, so... Yeah, we're looking forward to outdoors. We got Raleigh Relays coming up. We're hosting. We're looking forward to run fast in Raleigh, so. As of this year, Caitlin successfully set four collegiate records. It was in March when the American Collegiate Track star added another couple of accolades to her growing list of awards when she won the 3,000 meter and 5,000 meter at the NCAA Indoor Championships in Albuquerque, which brought her overall tally of NCAA titles to four. For context, Tuhi's two previous collegiate crowns both came in 2022, first in the outdoor 5,000 meter last June, and then in November at the NCAA Cross Country Championship. That said, with her wins in New Mexico, she has now won the last four NCAA National Championship races that she has entered. And so, to add to that, Caitlin kicked off her 2023 NCAA Indoor Championships campaign in the 5,000 meter, which took place in March. There, she took the win in 16 minutes, 9.65 seconds, beating a pair of athletes from the University of Alabama by two seconds. She didn't get too much rest ahead of her next run, as the women's 3,000 meter was set for the following day. Despite the hard work she put in the day before in the 5,000 meter, Tuhi cruised to the win in 9 minutes, 10.07 seconds, three seconds in front of second place. And then, by May, Caitlin has made four collegiate records this year. 
After competing at the Sound Running Track Fest on the first Saturday of the month, Caitlin took down Jenny Simpson's collegiate outdoor record in the 5,000 meters with her 15-minute 3.12 second clocking in Walnut, California. With this, Caitlin was honored as the USTF CCCA National Female Athlete of the Week. It was notably the second time this season that a female athlete from NC State has been named MF Athletic National Athlete of the Week. Caitlin's teammate Ali Hayes received the honors as well. That's no surprise though, as her time of 15 minutes 3.12 seconds sits atop the national rankings at more than 17 seconds faster than the current second place mark. Although it was only the second event of the outdoor season for Caitlin, she now holds the number one time in the NCAA for both the 1500 meter and the 5000 meter. However, Simpson still holds the absolute collegiate record at 15 minutes 1.70 seconds, a mark she ran indoors during her Bowerman winning campaign. Some tend to think that it may not stay that way for long. To prove the point, Caitlin has demoted three of Simpson's collegiate records to number two in collegiate history. First, when she went 4 minutes 24.46 seconds with an en route 4 minutes 6.49 seconds split at 1500 meters in late January to surpass the 14-year-old indoor mile best. Caitlin also made quick work of the outdoor 12 and a half lap standard and nearly hit the world standard in the process. Caitlin's other collegiate record came at the 115th Milrose Games in mid-February when she turned 3,000 meters in 8 minutes 35.20 seconds. Overall, Caitlin has had a spectacular year. Of course, that is not to say that she didn't have her fair share of losses, because as you all know, she did, and this is completely normal. I bet no one would disagree when I say that an athlete's journey, even that of a world-class athlete, is filled with both wins and losses. It's just a matter of winning more. Anyway, going back, it is because of her stellar season that it wasn't too surprising when Caitlin announced her decision to turn pro, choosing to sign with Adidas, the brand she inked a name, image, and likeness deal with last summer. The NC State star spent three and a half years with the Wolfpack and has emerged over the last two years as one of the best distance stars in the NCAA. And now the track and field community was astounded as the four-time NCAA champion decided to end her collegiate career. The North Carolina State middle and long distance runner has decided to turn professional and start a new journey. In an Instagram post, Caitlin talked about her three and a half years at NC State. I am overwhelmed with gratitude for the support, guidance, and encouragement I've received," she shared. The experience of being part of this team has been very special, shaping me not only as an athlete, but also as an individual. The lessons learned, the friendships formed, and the moments shared will forever hold a special place in my heart. She then expressed her gratitude to the people who had been with her on that journey. Despite this development, the 21-year-old will remain in Raleigh, North Carolina, making that her home base. She also confirmed in a text that Wolfpack coach Lori Heens will continue to coach her. I'm looking forward to this next chapter and the opportunities that lie ahead. Caitlin ended her post. And speaking of new chapters, watch this to see what doors will open for this kind of talent.